I lived in the greater Sacramento area for almost 40 years and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move this year, here are the top 10 reasons why you should move here. Number one, and that's to enjoy the American River Parkway, which is where I'm filming at right now. This is known as the jewel of the Sacramento area. It runs along the American River from downtown Sacramento all the way to Folsom, California. And this parkway is a huge 4,800 acre area that runs along the American River throughout Sacramento County and consists of many smaller parks and walking trails. This includes a 32 mile paved bike path with no cars. It's great for cycling and running. It runs all the way from Old Sacramento all the way up to Folsom Lake. People love to go horseback riding here as well as kayaking and fishing here in the American River. A second reason why you should move to the greater Sacramento area is due to our professional sporting teams. So we have this Sacramento Republic FC, which is our professional soccer team. And the team right now is working on building a brand new, almost $200 million stadium that will be just north of downtown Sacramento in the rail yards. We also have the Sacramento River Cats, which is our professional minor league baseball team. It's an affiliate of the San Francisco Giants. They have an awesome stadium in West Sacramento, just west of downtown Sacramento, and there's not a bad seat in the house. That stadium is also right next to the beautiful Tower Bridge, which connects West Sacramento to downtown Sacramento. There's also the Sacramento Kings, which is our professional basketball team, and they play at Golden One Arena, and that was built in 2016 for over $500 million. In that arena, they host a lot of concerts and other events as well. Also, if you like the great outdoors and Sacramento has so much to offer, we actually have a really big cycling community here because of the American River Parkway, but also there's a lot of really great rides in the foothills just east of Sacramento. People also enjoy boating, gardening, kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding, and much, much more. If you enjoy competing in triathlons or doing mountain biking or trail running, then check out TotalBodyFitness.com. They have a ton of races they put on each and every year, and I've done a lot of their triathlons. A fourth reason why you should move to the greater Sacramento area is due to all the proximity of lakes and rivers that we have here. Of course, we have the American River and the Sacramento River, but we also have Folsom Lake, which is wildly popular for boating, wakeboarding, and swimming, and the water in the summer months is nice and warm. We also have Lake Natoma, which is just west of Folsom, and that's really popular for kayaking, boating, and stand-up paddleboarding. Number five, Sacramento has the world's easiest airport. I love flying in and out of Sacramento. There's often no lines and minimal traffic. We're also a major Southwest hub, but there's very few international destinations. If you have kids, there's a lot of activity to do. So for example, we have Fairytale Town, which is located in the Lamp Park neighborhood of Sacramento, which is just south of downtown. They have about 26 huge play sets that are based on favorite fairy tales and nursery rhymes. We also have the Sacramento Train Museum in Old Sacramento and the Sacramento River Train. And especially popular is the Polar Express in December, which is right before Christmas. Another one of my favorites is Apple Hill. They have a ton of apple orchards, vendors, pumpkin patches, and Christmas tree farms and food. A must to do if you go to Apple Hill is to grab a fresh apple cider donut from Rainbow Farms. It is absolutely delicious. There's also a lot of parks in the area and one of my favorites is William Lamb Park, which is in Lamb Park, and also McKinley Park, which is in East Sacramento. If you like animals, then check out the Sacramento Zoo where you can feed giraffes there, or you can check out all the animals at SeaQuest, which is in Folsom. Number seven would be home affordability. At the time of this video, which is in January of 2021, our average home price in Sacramento County is around $500,000. You compare that to San Francisco Bay Area, the median sold price in December of 2021 was $1.2 million, so more than twice as expensive. I've never helped so many people move from the Bay Area to the Sacramento area, and this is due, of course, due to our affordability and new work at home arrangements. Number eight, and that's because of our close proximity to so many amazing destinations for weekend destinations. So for example, Napa for great wine tasting is only about an hour and a half away. We also have Lake Tahoe, which is an outdoor haven, tons of summer activities, and world-class skiing in the winter months. That's about two hours away. We also have San Francisco, which is also about two hours away. There's also Carmel and Monterey, which is three hours away. And we also have Amador County, which is famous for their wineries and wine tasting. 
That's about 45 minutes away. There's also Yosemite National Park, which is absolutely beautiful as well. Number nine, there are so many amazing restaurants in the area. My wife and I, our favorite is Crew, K-R-U, and that's based in Sacramento, an amazing sushi restaurant. Also, the soil here in Sacramento is very conducive to growing your own fruits and vegetables. A lot of people have their own fruit trees and veggie beds. Number 10, that's our great weather. I'm filming this video in January and it's 60 degrees outside. Absolutely beautiful here. Um, we also do not get any snow in the winter months, which is great. And also we have low humidity in the summer months. So yes, it can get very hot in the summer months, sometimes over 100 degrees, um, but at least it's very low humidity. And at night, it's really, really comfortable. In the summer months, it's very dry. It hardly ever rains. It's around 90 degrees on average for the high and about 60 degrees for the low. In the winter months, it's around 55 degrees for the high and about 40 degrees at night. The spring and fall months are my favorite months for weather-wise though because our average temperatures during the day are around 70 degrees to 80 degrees. In the winter months, it does rain. We get about 20 inches of rain per year. If you have any additional questions about what it's like to live here, then please send me an email or also comment below. Also, this is my second video on this channel. I have a main YouTube channel with about 40,000 subscribers. If you aren't already subscribed to that channel, then I'll leave a link below for you. My main channel is all about housing market updates across the nation and also in California. Also, if you got any value out of this video, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. And also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.